do you want this morphing effect if you do make sure to subscribe and like this video or otherwise it's not gonna work <laughs> just kidding this is a joke relax I've been ready way before the green light. I've been going twice as how you think that there was two on me. That was good, everyone. You guys probably just clipped this video because you can create this morphing effect with just one click. Ooh, sorry to disappoint you, but that was straight up cap. Are you serious, Ryan Elba? So not in one click, maybe like three or four, wait, no, wait. Or five or six, or seven or eight. Feel like Zach and Cody, I just been living my sweet life. But I ain't capping like these others when they say they hopping out that rate. So if I go through here, you see it's not really like morphing, morphing. But it still gives it that illusion when you play really fast. See, like it kind of shrinks, like this word shrinks to this word. The only effect I'm using is pixel motion blur. Now the catch to this effect is to basically just stack it up a bunch of times and it gives it this kind of cool look. I just been passing them rip it quickly like a jag. Um. The ones who put me down could even hold up on a bag. Um. So then we're gonna comp this, right? I would suggest to go on the part where they actually touch each other. Oh, whose fruity ass hand is this? So for example, right here, this is where they change. Go in effects and presets and type in pixel motion blur. Basically just drag this effect onto the comp. Now for the settings right here, you can do whatever you want. Usually for the shutter angle, I go with 250. And then for the shutter samples, I go with 30. And basically you're just gonna get this effect, copy it. So control C and basically you're just gonna want to comp this comp so again comp the comp again and then paste the effect when it does it you're gonna see this and basically you start to see that blurry effect so do that a couple of times so let's just comp it again and paste it again and then you can comp it again and paste it again and just like this you get this morphe effect that looks really cool i've used this effect on a lot of my edits and i low-key wanted to keep this sauce from people because i like to gatekeep things However, I did put this on my Patreon like months ago. So, um, yeah, I do be putting my sauce on my Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, basically Patreon is where I put my tutorials. So it could be me editing a whole scene for one of my edits, me doing extra tutorials, or literally anything else editing related, I put it on my Patreon. So if you guys want to see more of me, definitely check out my Patreon. It will be linked in my description. But anyways, thank you for watching. If you really like my content, make sure to subscribe and definitely like this video because when you guys like this video, it lets me know you guys actually like my content. And if you're not liking it, then why should I drop more content? You feel me? I'll see you guys next time. Be safe. Deuces. Uh, I've been ready way before the green light. I've been going twice as hard. You think that there was two on me? Uh, feel like Zach and Cody. I just been living my sweet life. But I ain't capping like these others when they say they hopping out that rafe. Uh, but watch this how I cop it when I'm finished. Uh, my grandma told me finish all my beef for dessert. It's only up from here. I'm feeling a little oozy with that verb. Uh, I'ma make sure that my name and go before I leave this earth.